All right, I'm at my next service call. The end, I'm at the end. All right, <laughs> not the end of the video, but the end of the Hi. Hi. How hold are on. you? Hold on, fine, hold on, hold on. I'll call you back, come on in. Oh, thank okay. you, ma'am. Yeah, uh, it's hot in here. Yeah? Jesus Christ. It's actually cooler in here than it is outside, though. Oh, my son told me to close all the blinds. Give me a break. Air conditioning not, not working? I, 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 I called to my son, he said it's not working. Where's the thermostat? Oh, this is the thermostat. You have a nest. I don't know what's going on there. I like the hat. Oh, my son needs a hat. <laughs> Let's see. Let's turn this on. My son told me to close all the blinds. Where is the uh, the equipment? The system is not here. The other part is outside there. Yes. Let's see the inside first. Okay, let's see the downstairs. Yeah, the Thank you. Downstairs. When did it stop working? I, I think it was working yesterday sometime. Right? It's cool. Yeah, I should live down here. No, he lives down here. Yeah. My son lives down here. <laughs> when I come here, he kicked me out. Mommy, go upstairs. It's cool down here. Yeah? This is the system. All right, thank you. There you go. Well, here's the outdoor unit running. Yeah. Turn the switch on. I think just like it. Like I saw something like that was on it yesterday when he checked it. Okay. Some place over here. Oh yeah. And the water must work. Water, water on the floor. Wasn't running. Something like that. The water. Something. Okay. Is there. Let me get my tools. We'll have to clean up here a little bit and okay. see what's going yeah. on. Yeah. So the unit was installed in 2004. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and you're and you bought the house after 2004. No, I haven't. No. Because no. I typed in the last name and it said the sub subsequent owner. Did no. you? I've been in the house for going on 30 years. Oh, okay. Then when it registered, they didn't register in your name or someone else's name. But it doesn't matter. It's not, it's not in warranty. The heat exchanger, which is the main part of the, of the furnace, is still under warranty. It has a 40-year warranty, according to Carrie's website. Yeah. But the parts only had a five-year warranty. Okay. All right. Let me start taking this thing apart, and uh, we'll get this up and running for you. All right. You got this carrier, Infinity 96 Percenter. I already diagnosed a bad ECM motor. It comes on, it goes very, very slowly. It makes a lot of rattling sounds. I have to take out the condensate trap, as you see, and the control board out of the way. Got it held together with zip ties, just so it's out of the way. And there's the motor. I'm gonna pull this thing out all the way and replace it. Let's check the warranty status, though. Let's check. All right, so I used my CE Enterprise uh, app and I did a warranty entitlement search and I scanned in the serial number and it was installed in early 2000s. I'll put a screenshot here, but only five year parts warranty. I guess it was never registered. It's, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Normally you register a carrier, you get 10, but this one's at five. See, look at this. All right, here's a screenshot from uh, the CE app. She's, uh, she's an older one. All right, I have the wiring harness disconnected from this ECM 3.0 motor. It's like one horsepower, and this was installed recently, 2016. And I have a couple wires here. See, one black wire goes there. Another one's going there. So I just put a little electric tape on this, and I'm going to separate them so I know which one went where, because they look like they're kind of similar. Well, no, they're not. <laughs> Dope. <laughs> All right. Now I could take this in a better work environment because, as you can see, this is what I'm working with. There's nothing here. There's no room. I gotta get through out of there. I'm into the kitchen area in this basement. All right, I got the set screw out, and it dropped. With the bird cage, squirrel cage, dropped. And before I even try pulling it up, I'm just gonna take a piece of scratchy paper and just. Go up and down the shaft like that, see? Up and down. See? 
get in there nice and good. Get any rust that's on there and build up off. And hopefully the motor will just drop. Put that back in the veto. All right, flip this over. I got resting on the old wet filter. Don't want to damage the tile floor. All right, there's the motor. It's one horsepower ECM 3.0. Go to the truck and go get it. All right. Let's head over to the truck. All right, that's half to a third. That's an ECM. There you go, one horsepower. Excellent, and guess what? If I didn't have the right blow motor on the truck, guess what I have in here? Let me find it. I pay attention I to always that. say that I like to learn something every new every day. And the last motor I replaced, people were telling me about this. Mikey pipes effed up. The new motor that I have in the truck is not compatible with this. It's not. I messed up. On the box, it even says it. 240 volts. Such a moron, by the way. Oh. Well, this is not going to fix itself. How fitting. There it is. There's the quick swap X3. <clears throat> I got a 110 volt, 1075, half, uh, one horsepower blow motor in there. Let's see what happens. up and running a little bit of a time delay this carrier oh what a pain <sighs> yeah a good technician is observing of his surroundings right i should have noticed that the motor said 208 230 that i'm dicking around for like an hour trying to get this thing to work and speed tappings and this this and that i would have gotten it to work though i would have gotten it to work if it was 110 volts because I would have gotten 24 volts on one of the, and it wouldn't have worked anyway. Nope, wouldn't have worked. But I got the, this guy, Quick Swap V3. And I noticed, because I learned it from the community. And that's what makes this an awesome channel and an awesome group of guys and ladies, because we learn from one another. Thank you. Oh man, that blower motor really kicked my ass. It really did. But I got it done. I got it done. It was meant to be. A learning experience. A learning experience. I think there's a package at the front door. Let's go see what it is. All right. A rigid tubing cutter. And a rigid me cutter. No, no love note, but this has got to be for... This has got to be for uh, Daniel's son. Let me check my text messages. Yep. Compliments of Godzilla Sugar Daddy. I'm going to have to change the name to um, Daniel's son Sugar Daddy. <laughs> Let's go give Daniel his presents. Daniel, it's your birthday. You got presents. Godzilla Sugar Daddy. Oh, you got two new tubing cutters. Thank you. Eh, there you go. Happy birthday, Daniel. So I was just about to get into the pool. It's Friday afternoon, 2 o'clock, maybe 2.30. Daniel calls, and he needs help. Let's go save Daniel on his birthday. Getting it done. Daniel, son, don't you know I should be in the pool right now? And on the way there, Daniel texts me that the compressor is hot. And I was like, all right, I'll be there in a couple minutes. 
pull up to the Taj Mahal with like 17 systems. Compressor is hot. We take the good old garden hose, hose it down for about 10, 15 minutes. Thermal overload, no longer an issue. And we had two bad capacitors. And now he knows about hot compressors. Let me get your thoughts and feedback and a thumbs up down in the comment section down below. Happy birthday, Daniel. Every day you learn something new. You promise me, stay true to your word, you're gonna go places. Happy birthday again. Have a great weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check us out on Discord and WhatsApp. And if you want free stickers, email me, mike at mikeypipes.com. Be well, God bless, stay safe.